How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 10 in my QBasic tutorial series. And in this video we're going over if statements. What is an if statement? An if statement sees if some condition that you give it is true and if it is true then it executes a block of code. Um, there's many parts to it. We can also put in an else if. So if the original if is not true we can check another condition and another condition and another condition. And then you can also put in an else. So if none of the conditions are met then you want to execute a certain block of code. Alright, so I've created this file in QB64 called ifelts.bas and I've created the variable score which I set to 9 and high score which I set to 23. So to start an if statement we type in all capitals if of course and then we have to give it some condition. So I'm just going to type in score high score. Now with conditions we can say if it's greater than if it's less than, if it's equal to, if it's greater than or equal to, if it's less than or equal to. So there's many conditions that we can give it. So in this case we want to know if the score is greater than high score. And if that's true th we got to type then. So in all capital letters T-H-E-N. And now whatever follows is going to be what gets executed if this condition is met. Now, what I like to do for my blocks of code with if statements is put a tab just so you can see that all the following lines are part of the same if statement block. So, the first thing we want to do, well, I guess the only thing we're going to do is print out um, congratulations. Don't know if I'm spelling that right. Uh, you beat the high score. Now, what we're going to do is an else if. And ignore that red line. It's an error. I'll explain it later. So for our else if, you type it else if. Um, no space between them, all capitals. And we got to give another condition now. So let's do, in this case, if score equals high score then we're going to print out congratulations um you tied the high score okay and else we now know that it's not greater than, we now know it's not equal to, so otherwise we're just going to print out sorry but you didn't beat the high score. Okay, now you'll see this error here, it says if without end if. When we do an if statement we have to close it off at the end to get rid of this error. So for that we just got to type end space if all capitals that closes off our if statement block. So what we got here is if this condition is true execute this. Now if this condition is met it's not even going to look at these. Once this condition is met it's going to execute this and jump to the end of this end if. It's not even going to look at these conditions. But if this condition is not met it will move on to the next condition. And if that one condition is not met then it's going to execute this one no matter what. If neither of these conditions are met this one gets executed regardless. So let's actually save this and run it. So right here, sorry but you did not beat the high score. Because our score is less than the high score, now if we put the high score to 29 for example, congratulations you beat the high score. And now if we put it to 23 as well, Congratulations, you tied the high score. So all that's working. But we don't have to do this just with numbers. We can do if statements with strings. And we also don't have to have an else if or an else if we don't want. We just need the if. You don't have to have multiple conditions in an if statement. So let's create a variable. So we're going to get input from the user. The game's over. We want to ask them, do you want to play again? Do you want to 
play again. All right, and we're going to store this in a variable called answer. And it's going to contain a string, so that's why we're putting the dollar sign. Just to let our uh, just let QBasic know that it's going to be a string returned. So now actually we're going to add to that string here. We're going to give them two options. So if they type in Y, yes, they want to play again. Otherwise, we're going to assume they don't. So if um what or sorry if answer so if answer can include the dollar sign is equal to y well then we're going to print out okay let's play again And we're going to end this all off with an end if. So, if the user selects yes, then we're going to play again. We could put an else in there if we wanted to, and an else if, or if they put in no, I'm not going to. If they don't play, if they don't select yes, then let's just print out goodbye. So, if they don't type in Y, we're just going to assume they don't want to play again. They might have put in something invalid. They might have put in... Um, no. So, other regardless, if it's not Y, then we're just going to say goodbye, game over. So, all that's finished off. Let's save it and run it. So, we're going to run this. So, it still tells us, congratulations, you hide the high score. Do you want to play again? Yes. Okay, let's play again. Now, it said goodbye because it finished the if statement, went to the end of the program, and printed that out. But if we this time type in N, or really anything other than Y, it'll say goodbye as well. Now one thing I'm going to point out, if we put in a capital Y here, it still works. Now, sorry, it doesn't work, I mean, sorry. Um, it's case sensitive, these strings here, so they're case sensitive. So if answer equals Y... Sorry, one second. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. Now we can do multiple conditions in an if statement. So if answer equals y, we can do an or, or we can do an and. So we can have multiple conditions in one if statement. So if answer equals y or answer equals uppercase y. Let's run this now. So now if we put an uppercase Y, okay, let's play again. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about if statements. Play around with it. See all the different stuff you can do with them. That's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.